Hey guys, what's up? Lifty Man 190 here coming at you with a review of my uh, Hobbymaster uh, US Navy F5F Tiger II. Um, as you can see, it is a two seat model. It'll be a uh, um, you know, very lightweight fighter, the F5 uh, Tiger. Um, yeah, it's a, definitely a great model, and uh, I don't know. There's just, I, there's a you know I got some stuff to say about it obviously since I'm reviewing it so let's just get right into it here. So nose, uh, not sure. The only thing I would say is one of those is not a gun actually. I believe um, the F5F model has only one gun. I'm not sure why there are two. It looks like there might be two modeled there. Um, yeah. We'll turn to the side here. Uh, I've got our red and yellow 30 right there. Um, you know, obviously, it's a, this is an adversary aircraft, so it's supposed to look sort of like a Russian aircraft. Uh, at least colored sort of like one. Uh, from VFA 127, as we can see here. We got a dummy round, dummy missile round. Navy, got our Red Star, NJ tail code. We got our uh, twin engines here. Um, I was actually looking at uh, this aircraft, this model, and my, uh, I have a 172, also Hobby Master, Messerschmitt BF-110. Um, and I was thinking to myself, man, what, how far we have come in like, because the yeah, the BF one ten is a twin engine fighter. It's a heavy fighter, but it's still a twin engine fighter. And just the fact that like that's a twin engine airplane, and it's big. You know, it's supposed to be a fighter, but it's big, lumbering, bulky, not really maneuverable. And then you have another twin engine airplane, the one that we're looking at right here, the F five Tiger. And it's just incredible to think that both of these airplanes are twin engine. Yet this thing is tiny, lightweight, very maneuverable. It's just crazy. Um, I'm gonna just look up straight on from the back here, and then we are gonna just come up this side. This one has a little bit more of a real-looking missile than just the you know straight dummy round. On the other side, um, then we got our, you know, tail code Navy VFA one twenty seven, blah blah blah. Even though this isn't not a combat aircraft, you know, this is a this is a an adversary. Like I said, one thing I do value about this airplane, like th that this kind of airplane, um, is like the simplicity with not having many parts, uh. And this airplane in particular, I guess, like, the Hobbymaster F5 mold is, like, and the parts that come with it, it's super simple. Um, here's the gear plug for the main gear. One piece. Both sides is one piece. Like, that's amazing. And then, you know, that would make sense. That's the nose gear. But, like, when you look at the NF4, like... That's another example. That guy over there, the F-111, is a great example. E-2, we'll look at that later in another video. But that's a great example, too. Um, just one plug for each and one gear for each. But this is even better because these... Oh, that still has three... That's still a three-piece gear. Uh, like, it was a one-piece or two-piece plugs, three-piece landing gear. Because of that door right there. That's a separate piece. You have to... Uh, I, I made a video about that. You can go and take a look at that. But, like, the thing is with this, it's... Both things is one piece. Both things are one piece. Like, that whole landing gear assembly there. Um, get rid of it. That's the only thing you can hang off it, too. And that you can use to pull the plugs out. That is a single piece, and that is very nice compared to things like the F4, which have 
uh, you know, just the way they do is just not, <laughs> I just wish it was less pieces, but I love the F4, so I don't care. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, that's going to be it basically for the, uh, Hobby Master VFA 127 from the U.S. Navy, um, F5F review. If you like this video, uh, please uh, like it. If you want to see more model reviews of mixed of mixed scales and between civilian and military, well, hit that subscribe button. Thanks. Um, you have a good day.